Okay, continuing on, we're going to continue with the selection tools and we're going to continue to work up here in this upper right hand corner. So, the first thing I want you to do is come over to the uh, where it's the marquee selection tool, hit the drop down menu and choose elliptical marquee tool. Come over to this uh, upper right hand corner. Now hold down the shift key first. Now click, hold, and drag, and you'll see you'll make a perfect circle. So with the elliptical marquee tool, if you hold down shift, it makes a perfect circle. Uh, if we were to use the rectangle marquee tool, you could hold down shift and make a square. But just make a perfect circle like that, and let's fill it with a different color. And you can pick any color you want. <clears throat> Here, I got this nice French blue, I guess. I guess that's what that is. Um, fill it up. Oh, remember, we're, we're on this shapes layer, by the way. Um, I should have pointed that out. Okay, so use the paint bucket tool <clears throat> and fill the, uh, the circle you just made. And let's use our zoom tool. You can hit the letter Z or activate the zoom tool with the, tool, the toolbar and zoom in on our circle here. Whoa, I went too far. Cool. Um, there we go. That happens a lot with a scrubby zoom. Okay, so I think I want to point out uh, you got the marching ants, okay, and we're, you know, th there's a object selected. Over on the left, the very top tool is this crossbar. It's a, the move tool, and you can get to it by hitting the letter V on the keyboard as well. So let's activate the move tool. Now with the move tool selected, You'll see, if you hover over an object, you'll see a little scissors icon will come up. You might not be able to see it on my screen, but that means it's, it's cutting it from wherever it's anchored. Okay, so with the move tool, with marching ants, move tool selected, I can move, you know, whatever is within those marching ants. Okay, so that's great, right? <clears throat> now suppose, but there's a way you can move the selection you can move the marching ants and not move the object. And here's how you do that. So, got marching ants on your circle. Go up to Select, Transform Selection, and you'll get the bounding box again, but it's a little bit different. Now, if I hover over it, click, hold, and drag, you will see that the marching ants move, but the object stays the same. So, what I want you to do is um, move your selection so you see you get like this banana shape um, I hope you can see that I'll zoom way way in so this is where I want I just moved the selection down and to the right a little bit hit the <clears throat> return key to accept that now I got um, you know, the marching ants is going over the majority of this uh, this filled circle. The move tool is still active. Now, if I click, hold, and drag a little bit, now see how it, it'll... Now you can kind of see the significance of that scissors icon, right? It's like cutting it away from the, uh, the circle. So get something like that, all right? And now let's transform our selection again. Select transform selection and let's do something a little bit different um, hold that uh, hover over a, an anchor point hold down the shift key click hold and drag and just uh, make a smaller um, selection here I'm gonna move this down a little bit it, it, this does I mean you don't have to get exactly the same as mine you know just get something like that so let me hit the return key so I got this uh, smaller selection, kind of a mimicking of this weird shape, almost like a football shape, kind of oval or something. Okay, so that's that's there like that. <clears throat> Hit the delete key on the keyboard, and it deletes. Do a command D. Um, let's do a command zero or control, command or control zero to zoom out. So you should have something that kind of sort of looks like that. If it doesn't, you know, just somewhere in the same ballpark, all right? Save your file. You know, file save or command or control S. And I'll see you in the next video.